Well, in response to threats and rhetoric from the United States, North Korea warns that it will carry out a nuclear test quote at any time and any location. A foreign ministry spokesman has said that Pyongyang is ready to respond to any option taken by the United States. That's in reaction to U.S. President Donald Trump's threat that all options regarding the Asian country are still on the table. The official added that Pyongyang will take new measures to bolster its nuclear arsenal and even prepare to conduct a preemptive nuclear attack unless the U.S. changes its hostile policies. The diplomat noted that uh, the United States would have not uh, hesitated to launch a war on North Korea if it wasn't armed with powerful nuclear force. Publisher and editor of Politics First, Mr. Marcus Papadopoulos, joins us now from the British capital, London. Sir, welcome to the program. A uh, promise of more nuclear tests by North Korea. Many believe that this is exactly uh, the response that the United States was trying to conjure from North Korea so that uh, they could once again assume uh, the position of defenders of the realm. Do you see it in that light as well? Well, the situation on the Korean peninsula is extremely tense and restraint has to be exercised by America. America has to understand that it is not the policeman of the world. That job falls to the United Nations. That is why the United Nations was formed in the first place. That said, however, it does appear that uh, the military option is on the table for President Trump. And we know that President Trump has no compunction in using military force, illegal military force. He, had, he has already done that uh, in Syria. But the consequences, uh, the human consequences of a war breaking out on the Korean peninsula are unthinkable. Let me tell you this, when Bill Clinton was president during the 1990s, he also considered a military attack on North Korea. So he asked his military chiefs to put together a plan, and he also asked what would the, what would the uh, human casualties be in a war. And the military chiefs uh, reported to President Clinton that uh, there would be one million South Korean casualties and approximately 100,000 American military casualties. Uh, that's not even taken into consideration how many North Korean uh, casualties there would be. So there must not be military action on the Korean peninsula. I am opposed to nuclear proliferation. But at the same time, I understand why North Korea is seeking nuclear weapons. It is seeking nuclear weapons for self-defense. And America has historically shown that it attacks countries which do, not, which do not have nuclear weapons. And North Korea wants to use them only if it is attacked. And let's also take into consideration the uh, situation that North Korea finds itself in. <clears throat> There are 30,000 American soldiers on its borders. New American nuclear weapons are aimed at North Korea. There are mil uh, American military bases surrounding North Korea in the Pacific. There are uh, massive and provocative uh, American and South Korean military maneuvers uh, close to the North Korean border, close to uh, North Korea maritime waters. And there is an immense amount of hostile, uh, aggressive talk coming out of Washington. It's no surprise, therefore, that given that, that North Korea is feeling threatened and North Korea sees nuclear weapons as its only option to safeguard its independence and its sovereignty against a very, very aggressive administration led by President Trump. Indeed, sir. Thank you very much. Publisher and editor of Politics First, Mr. Marcus Papadopoulos, joining us from London.